Quick talk? No, 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 we're just gonna make them quick. All right, Lizzie, let's <laughs> talk about this poor man dying over a Twitter handle. What happened? So there was uh. a guy um, this week who, unfortunately, he had been going through this issue for a number of years. So he, um, back when Twitter first started, he decided that he was going to um, buy the Twitter handle at Tennessee, Tennessee. right? Because he's from Tennessee, he was a fan of the Tennessee, you know, football and basketball programs at the universities in his state. And then as Twitter became more popular, people wanted to buy that handle from him. And he said, no, you know, this is my thing. This is my, my legacy. This is my roots. Mm -hmm. And so he started to get bullied online for it. People started to bully him over a Twitter handle to the point where... Wish they would. They... Two but guys no. started to swat him. And I don't know if the, you know, the listening or viewing audience knows what swatting is. Swatting is a form of bullying, actually a form of stalking, where people target you for whatever reason, and they decide that they're going to call into the police. They're going to call the police and send the police to your residence saying that you've committed a crime, saying that you've done X, Y, Z, when you haven't done anything. And unfortunately, in this case of swatting, it turns out that the two swatters here were an American teenager and a teenager from the UK. Not only initially did they start calling his house, ordering like dominoes and Chinese food and all kinds of stuff to his house that he didn't order, but then on that fateful day, they called the police and said that there was a crime against a woman being committed at his residence, which wasn't true. The police showed up in full armor, guns drawn, and he had a heart attack and died. Uh, but my hmm. question to the panel is, the, the, I think the youngest kid, the, the American um, teenager, just turned 18, so he's going to be tried as an adult. The kid in the UK is not yet 18, so he cannot be tried as an adult. But I'm just curious to the panel, like, what do you think should happen to these young men who did this? I think that we need to do a revamp of um, extradition laws because of the type of acts that were being committed. This, it, even if you're based in the UK, you're still committing a crime in a different country. So we really need to look at the extradition rules to make these hold these people accountable. Because if we live in an international community, if we are able to engage, support, or attack one another, then we need to be able to held to account by a set of standards. Um, this is cyberbullying pretty much at its worst. It's criminal yeah. harassment. Um, I took a look at some of the Tennessee uh, law books and Tennessee wrongful death is absolutely something that could apply here. There's the misuse of 911 services. Um, play stupid games, play stupid prizes, but it's so shameful that someone lost their life over a goddamn tag over a domain name a twitter handle like it's come on like have we I'm... really gotten down this far ethically it's a shame on you like it's whatever these young men have coming to them they've earned a hundredfold and i hope that through this process they will be they will learn how accountable they are and that this will weigh on them for the rest of their lives because this is the worst kind of bullying and the kid, they don't even know him. They're attacking him because yeah. of the at Tennessee handle. Yeah. Bullshit. And I think in this situation with this, before we get to Gianni, I think what's important about this is that a lot of times the okay, victims don't know that they're, being, the victims don't know that they're being bullied. They don't know yeah. that they're a part of this process until the police show up at their residence, gun drawn. Like in 2017, a young man died. The police shot him because they thought that he was a criminal attacking women. And he, I think it, it was either he had a bomb in his house or he was a rapist. And they showed up at his house what? and he oh ended God. up being shot and killed over something that he had nothing to do with. He had no wow. idea this was happening. Johnny? Uh, I, do, I do believe those boys should be held accountable because this was like a game to them. Um, obviously, yeah. somebody was, was wrongfully, wrongfully died. I don't even know what to say because I feel like 
there's no question that they should uh, receive consequence, but it's just, what was the motive? Like, I know, I understand the Twitter handle, but why are you, why do you, what is the Tennessee, what are you going to do with that? Like, that's confusing. Um, especially for the you're going to get traffic. In the UK, especially for the guy in the UK, like, you don't even live in the United States. You live here. A, a handle live. that's at Tennessee. You're, you're in, in, in England. Like, yeah. what is that? that that's, it's it's yeah. crazy. But I just wanted to, I brought There's this no to the table because this is becoming a thing. With all the cyberbullying, with all of the internet chatter back and forth, where people are nice to each other, with, you know, Chrissy Teigen, who bullied a lot of people. This is becoming a thing. Yeah. And people have died because of swatting. They've died. This poor man did nothing wrong yeah. but answer the door. Yeah. Yeah, it was when I saw it. It was it was it was sad. I mean, yeah. like I say, I, I know I said I I wish it would happen to me because I listen. I mean, Shoot. <laughs> they I don't know. They, I, I'm glad that they're they're uh, one of them was put in jail or um, charged. So yeah, mm -hmm. but at, at least that. But it, it was it was sad. I mean, it, at least but at least they're getting um there is some justice for it. But it's, yeah. It's, it's, and where are the parents? Where are these parents though. with these badass children? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. It's a lose lose situation because now those little boys have the rest of their life to to make up for that. You know that sucks. I that's always bad news, especially mm -hmm. the man that lost his life as well. I'll admit I I didn't know what swatting was. Um, but uh, I read this. Uh, this is from Jacqueline Robinson. Um, so we're going online. I read this story yesterday, and it's horrifying. Not only was this poor man swatted, his family members were doxxed and threatened. Absolutely vile. What is doxxed? I didn't know what swatting I had to look it up, actually. So <laughs> doxxing is um, basically revealing what were previously private details. So by doing mm. internet searches, you can find out information. So if, it, you know, if someone was, was, tried, was convicted of a crime, if th these are public records. So what they're doing is they're oh. mining for... They're, they're mining for dirt and then they're sharing this information publicly. So it's uh, all over a Twitter it, handle. It's so horrible. It, it's, it's an orchestrated campaign of hate. And, it, and that's it for a Twitter handle so that they can, they can get additional traffic on a platform. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> all right. That's so, that's so stupid. All right. Next up. Truth. Cool lies. Shenanigans. Cool oh, you know what? We didn't ask. Was this Truth Lies or Shenanigans? A lot of shenanigans. Yeah, it's shenanigans. shenanigans it's, truth. Like, it's, a truth. it's a dark, dark truth. It's a dark truth. Dark truth shenanigans. Yeah. All right, 